This is ETV, sponsored locally by the Boise Weekly, Radio Boise, and KBOI TV Channel 2. Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. It is Senior Week, so stick around for some great tips to help seniors out. But before that happens, we want to find out if there's any last-minute blockbusters that are going to try and sneak their way in before summer's done. To tell us more, here's Sean McBride, the movie guy. Labor Day marks the end of the summer movie season and the start of a couple of months of mediocrity at the movies. Films like Shark Night 3D, a schlocky thriller about some good-looking kids on vacation fighting off the hungry shark that wants to eat them up yum. And it's all in 3D. Houston, how does the motion sensor work? Yeah? Yeah. Apollo 18 is the found footage horror flick that documents what happens when our U.S. astronauts run across some space monsters while up on the moon. It's a brave thing you're doing. I'm not brave. I'm terrified. There is one quality drama out this week, The Debt. This is a Cold War spy thriller. The story of three Mossad agents who are tracking down Nazi war criminals in East Berlin. Flash forward to the late 90s, where we find out that the now-retired agents have some secrets of their own to protect. Only four people know what happened here. No matter what, the truth stays in this room between us. And that's what's new in the movies this week. I'm Sean Gray, the movie guy for ETV. So as you might have guessed from that package we just did there, uh, really not a great week for movies. The only notable exception is The Debt. I mean, it's got a really good cast, a cast of young up-and-comers, and also people like Helen Mirren, Tom Wilkinson. I mean, quite a nice little drama. For the adults that have been staying away from the movie theaters, it's all some long being scared of the kids. Well, kids are back in school, so grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, and you can the movies and see a really quality movie. The Over to the flicks, they have One Day, Another Earth, and this week's new openers are The Debt, which we just talked about, and The Guard, a really delightful comedy about a rural Irish cop who's played by Brendan Gleeson, and he's forced to team up with a by-the-book FBI agent played by Don Cheadle. A very funny crime comedy, certainly a crowd-pleaser at the past Sundance Film Festival. Uh, over on home DVD, kind of slim pickings, unless you're a preteen, then it's all about Disney's prom. And of course, Tyler Perry is a big crowd pleaser whenever he puts on his Medea character. And don't forget about In a Better World, the Golden Globe Best Foreign Film winner. Now let's get to uh, local theater. Now I told you a couple weeks ago that uh, everything was fixing to start up again. Well, it started up, so let's get right into it. Let's begin with The Music Man, Meredith Wilson's classic musical from the 50s. Uh, the story of a con man who goes to River City, Iowa to scam the locals, but ends up falling in love with Marion the Librarian instead. You know the play from its songs. Uh, Trouble, 76 Trombones, Wells Fargo Wagon, Gary Indiana, Shapoopy, Pick a Little Light of Rose. I mean, alongside South, alongside South Pacific and maybe some music, what other play has more iconic music in it? Anyway, Music Man, final weekend at the Nam Civic Center with performances Friday and Saturday night plus a Saturday matinee. You can get your tickets at 468-2385 or go to mtionline.org. Uh, great show, although I'm a little biased because I'm in the show. <laughs> uh, another great show, Neil Simon's Rumors, opens this weekend at the Boys and Little Theater. Actually, their 64th season opener. This is an all-out farce, the story of four couples dealing with a gunshot wound and to one of the characters and everybody's trying to figure out what happened and trying to get their story straight before the police arrive. Uh, it's Neil Simon, so you can count on lots of wordplay and some very funny situations. Uh, once again, that's the opening weekend of Rumor. Runs three weeks through the 17th at Boise Little Theater. Uh, tickets and information at 342-5104 or boiselittletheater.org. Over at Stagecoach Theater, another comedy, The Foreigner, the story of a painfully shy guy at a fishing lodge in Georgia. And he pretends to be a foreigner who doesn't speak English, so he doesn't have to talk to anybody. But then the other guests start talking in front of him because they figure he can't understand them. A very funny result. You can get tickets and information at 342-2000 or go to stagecoachtheater.com and note the temporary location for this show at 5012 Emerald. Daisy's Madhouse Theater has The Laramie Project 10 years later. Uh, the original Learning Project is, of course, uh, based on the true story of the murder of a young gay man, Madeline Shepard. Uh, very popular in movie drama, and you may have seen it uh, put on HBO. Uh, so let's call this a sequel of sorts, with people going back ten years later to see how the murder affected the town and how it still continues to affect the town in the future. Opening weekend for the Learning Project, ten years later. 
runs through the 17th and playing at the Idaho Outdoor Association. That's at 3401 Brazil. You can get your tickets at 995-0088 or go through daisiesmadhouse.org. And finally, Idaho Shakespeare unveils the final play of their summer season, The 39 Steps, which you probably know this as an Alfred Hitchcock film. I saw this one on Broadway. It was a lot of fun. A good, good play. It runs all this month. You can get tickets by calling 336-9221 or go to idahoshakespeare.org. That's a lot of theater. Hey, I need a break. And so let's take a break, and we'll be back with more ETV right after this.